so this is the game which we are going to develop today in a uh, game lab so let me just tell you how we can play this game that I have developed in the game lab environment using the basic features available over there so for resetting the game you just have to press R and then if the coronavirus touches the person who is firing automatically you will get to see this game over screen now for resetting the game we can uh, you know press R button for firing out a man a running man we need to press F and for you know uh, hitting the coronavirus for attacking the coronavirus with the sword man we need to press M so you know that's how you can play this whole game we have got a moving background also in this there is you know there is lot of animation in this game that we will be seeing and here the score is getting reflected right on the top okay if this coronavirus comes in contact with this person automatically the game will get over so now let's let's refresh this screen and come on the code.org environment and check out the code we have used for developing this game so let's come on the animation part first let's talk about the animation part what are the different sprites that I have used for developing this game so this is the first sprite with name move gunman so you know this is the one which you get to see when you uh, when the game starts for the first time so this is the one uh, with name move gunman okay so you know this is the one which we get to see when we press F button for firing out a running man like this okay this is the one that we get to see now let's come on the third sprite this is not the one this is the third sprite the enemy sprite with name enemy one and in the first frame I've got a coronavirus and after that it's the way you know after once it gets hit by the sword of the running men it dies like this so this is the uh, these are the various frames I have used for you know creating this animation uh, this is the running man animation and these are the frames that I have made use of for creating this animation uh, in this animation workspace you know you can you guys can easily find these clip arts these are clip arts images if you will type running man clip art images you will be able to find it very easily on it on the internet okay this is a sword man so when if you want to hit the coronavirus with sword you just have to press m key and automatically what is going to happen in place of this running men okay the running men will go disappear and in place of the running men we will get to see the sword men this is the background <coughs> this is the background that we are able to see here okay now how this background is moving that's what I'm going to tell you in this lecture so first of all let's come on the code before that I would like to show you one more sprite that is the coin sprite you know this is a 10 points coin sprite if the coronavirus you know if this person hits the coronavirus we get 10 points so this 10 points animation has got uh, you know I have made use of 13 frames for creating this animation okay uh, and this is a game over screen which we get to see if the coronavirus comes in contact with the move gunman 
okay now let's come on the coding part what have we done in the coding part let's just check it out so this is for calling the background the colorful background you know it gives a very good feel to your game if the background is colorful see how nice it is looking so for calling this background we have made use of this uh, these lines of codes for move gunman right now the slide that you're seeing here it is move gunman okay it is move gunman sprite so for this we have made use of these three lines of codes let me just reset the app okay and for this where is that fire gunman you know which you get to see when it fires when the move gunman fires out a running man so this is the sprite that we have made use of for this is the code that we have made use of for calling the fire gunman sprite similarly this is the code that i have made use of for uh, getting that corona virus reflected over here this is for the 10 points coin animation okay and initially you can see uh, the enemy one dot pause code i have used for this corona virus because i don't want to see the other frames of any enemy one the only frame which should be visible to the user is frame zero this is the variable i have used for you know creating different running mans you know i can create more than one running man at the same time like this let me just show it to you see so for this I have made use of this key uh, this variable X and this is the whole code that you're seeing over here okay we have read about this in the Ram versus Ravan game also so in case you don't know about this code which is used for creating you know several sp sprites copies of a particular sprite several copies of a particular sprite so you guys can check out that Ram versus Ravan lecture of mine. Similarly, for Swordman, I have again made use of this, uh, you know, code. Now this is the variable I have made use of for calculating the score. For uh, you know, fetching the game over screen on this uh, game platform. Now let's come on this. How am I able to? How this background is moving. So for that I have made use of a very simple loop. This is a loop. And you know about this we have read uh, several times in the previous lectures. So back.x is equal to back.x minus 15. So just because of this, the background is moving, right? We are able to see the background moving just because of this line of code. Fine. Now if back.x is smaller than this value, what is going to happen? I want to set the x component of back again to 200. So this is the whole code which is actually making this background to repeat again and again. come on this code which is making this corona sprite to move along the x-axis okay it is moving along the x-axis right now just because of this code in case its value its x component becomes uh, smaller than minus 100 what is going to happen this is what is going to happen a new position will get allocated to this corona virus sprite so for repeating the coronavirus, you know, for seeing it again, again and again, I have made use of these lines of codes. Let's 
Fire gunmen and move gunmen. They are not visible to us initially, just because of this code. When when we will press F key for firing or running men. So this is the these are the lines of codes which are actually working behind this animation. Okay, and it is uh, the running man is running along x axis in this direction just because the velocity x component is, is equals to 2 this is the reason ok now what, uh, you know this up down uh, left and right this I have used for controlling the movement of a running man and sword man they both are running with the same speed and at a particular time they both are present at the same position the positions both these sprites are also same so for controlling their movement I have made use of these lines of codes we have already read about this in the previous lectures several times so I know you guys are aware about these lines of codes in case a person the user presses M so what is going to happen this is what going to happen the sword K you know it is going to hit uh, the sword men will be visible to the user the running men will go invisible let me just tell it to you practically see when we will press M so the running men will go invisible and in place of running men we will be able to see the sword men okay so this is how this is how we can kill the coronavirus using this uh, you know uh, sword men and besides the way you can control the running men you can move him in all the direction in the same way you can move the swordman too ok and what is going to happen when swordman will touch enemy 1 the score is going to get increased by 10 see the score is getting reflected over here let me just show it to you the score is getting reflected over here right on the top right now it is 0 ok now let's so it has increased by 10 right the value of score has got increased by 10 so this is the code that is actually doing this thing enemy 1 dot play you know we will be able to see enemy 1 going down others other frames of enemy 1 this is the code which I have used for you know uh, making the other frames of enemy one visible to the user enemy one dot velocity x now when the person when the when this swordman hits the coronavirus what what is happening the enemy is running in this you know it is going outside the screen the coronavirus sprite is going outside the screen it is just because of this code these lines of codes the velocity x component is minus 7 and the velocity y component will become will become equal to minus 10 so it will send it in the opposite direction right with the velocity uh, points the point animation will be visible to us and it will you know appear as if it is it will appear to the user uh, as if it is moving upwards uh, if enemy 1 dot y is smaller than 8 now if suppose uh, while the sprite is moving outside this uh, environment this gaming platform if the y component of this enemy 1 will become smaller than minus 8 so what is going to happen I want to see the frame 0 of enemy 1 so this is the code I have made use of enemy 1 should go should go pause 
the velocity of any one enemy one in both x and y direction should be equal to zero and it should be allocated a new uh, you know position so that we can see it again on the gaming platform let me just show it to you so let's hit this coronavirus with this okay now we are able to see it again right so this is what this code is actually doing now let's come on this part so if the points dot y is become zero become smaller than zero see the point is also getting disappeared you know the coin that we get to see when that swordman hits the coronavirus so it also leaves the screen but if we want to see it again what we can do we can set its position like this its position should be equal to enemy one dot x and enemy one dot y why just because we want to see the coin to appear again at the same point where the uh, where the coronavirus is fine so that when this when the coronavirus will get hit by the swordman we can see the coin after that okay points dot visible initially we'll keep it its visibility false we don't want to see it initially this is a text that i have this is a these are the lines of codes which we can use for getting this score card score reflected as a in the form of a text right on the top <coughs> now comes if you want to play the theme song we just need to press one and we'll be able to hear the theme song let me just play it for you guys so this is a theme song which you'll get to hear similarly for stopping it we can press 2 in case the enemy one is touching the move gun man okay so game over the screen will be visible to us the score will become invisible the text will become invisible and the score variable the value of this score variable will go zero and this is a code for resetting the app enemy 1.x enemy 1.y this position will be allocated to the corona virus and game over screen will go disappear the score will be visible to us and the text will be visible to us so this is the whole code that i have used for creating this game hope you enjoyed this thank you very much for watching this lecture god bless you all with a great great future bye bye everyone